Hey guys, a little bit of an update on my quadcopter as well as some follow-up information on this Hobby King version of the uh, 450 flame wheel chassis, their, uh, their knockoff version, you can call it. I ordered that chassis when I initially ordered all my parts, uh, like these plush ESCs, the KK2, etc. Anyway, after my first flight, I had ended up breaking one of the arms that comes with that chassis kit. Um, and since then, I, well, I had uh, used a piece of carbon fiber just to band-aid it to keep me flying in the meantime. But anyway, since then, I have ordered some of the uh, authentic DJI version uh, arms, which is these, the black ones in the back. The white ones in front are still, uh, are still the original knockoffs. But what I wanted to show you here is the thickness difference where this drops down out of the motor. Uh, the, the authentic DJI ones do not drop down nearly as much as these uh, these knockoff versions. So that was the very first thing I noticed. Other than that, they bolted right up to the, uh, the knockoff chassis plates. And I do plan on ordering a whole new DJI flame wheel kit. Um, a couple of reasons. The, the chassis plates have been fine thus far. However, I did have a little bit of an accident earlier and broke the lower chassis plate where I had my GoPro mounted. And I'm sure that was just a that's just a mistake on my end. But what I will I've got a landing gear and gimbal on the way, and that mounts off of these slots here as well as <laughs> where this uh, chassis part used to be. So I need to have that replaced anyway. I know I can order just the um, individual replacement parts from the DJI. I don't, I don't know. We'll see what I do. But either way, I need to get it get it replaced here ASAP. So um, just to anybody looking at the the knockoff version, you might you might think twice. You know, just with the replacement cost cost of the arms one time, you can uh, <laughs> you can almost uh, have the the real chassis. And I, I do believe that those those arms will be substantially stronger. So I will do another update uh, coming up here soon once my camera gimbal and landing gear all come in and the new chassis plates so I can get that all uh, up and running. Other than that, still running the KK2 in here. I might end up uh, switching that out for a NASA here uh, sooner than later as well. Uh, in that one crash, I knocked off my far right button and uh, bent a bunch of these pins up, but not a huge deal. Either way, uh, we'll see you guys here soon with some more updates on this, uh, this project of mine. So we'll see you later.